Sagittarius. Welcome to your reading with me, Natalie, spelled N-A-T-A-L-E-E. -E. I'm here to do your psychic tarot reading, and I just came out of your psychic time, Saggies, and I'm telling you, I'm picking up, um, here's what I feel. It feels like um, a work slash friend situation, someone that you work with, worked with, will work with, who like will become a friend or there's friendly vibes or a friend who got you a job or has gotten you work before or who you have gotten jobs or work before. Maybe you guys are in the same network or in the same kind of group of, of like professional that do this or, you know, maybe you guys all hear about jobs and you send them to each other or something like that. But that's, that's one thing, okay? I also picked up that something happened in the past that was a stressor on the relationship, but that it was because it was work and friendship. So I'm not sure exactly what that was. It's going to be different for all of you, but I am picking up that contentious energy where there was, and it's, and it's, and for some of you, it was contentious what I'm getting is that it was challenging for everyone. Like whatever was going on, it was just challenging for everybody. So if there was, if there is contention or if there is competition between you and other people or someone else, it's going to just kind of come up naturally on a stressful time. They're telling me we're done cooking the cards. Okay. But yeah, that's what I'm picking up for you, Sagittarius, this work situation. And then I'm getting this thing about the friends or the one friend Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, this is a friend you've had a long ooh, tower beneath. I'm not taking it, but this is a friend who you've either known them for a long time, you're from the same neighborhood, the same background, the same milieu, same country club, the same... I am getting inherited wealth. Here's what the thing is about the Ten of Pentacles, is that this is the first card out, Sagittarius, so it's the strongest energy of the reading for you. And so I don't have any other cards to show you. Actually, let me pull up these guys. I'm just going to really quickly... Here we go. Perfect. Perfect. The Eight of Swords. So look at how she's wound up, bound up by these swords, right? And the marshes by the sea. But if you look up, there's up the castle, sorry, up the mountain, there's that castle. There's a, right? It's really far away. Like, why is she down here where it's cold and rocky and stormy and traumatic when she could be in the castle? This is the view from in the courtyard of that castle high on top of the mountain. This is the inside. This is what she could be enjoying. But she's out down there in the marshes, tying herself to swords, you know. So, this is you. This is your first, I swear to God. All of my Sagittarius readings, like, you guys are so lucky and happy and funny. It's just, it's the luck of the Sagittarius, I swear to God. I'm a Capricorn, so I have my Venus in Sagittarius. So all you Saggies, you probably have some Capricorn magic that makes your life a little bit harder. Anyway, so the Ten of Pentacles is you and your friend is what I feel like. You guys are in this... It doesn't have to be a click, and I don't want to say click as if I'm judging it. I'm not judging it, but you guys are definitely part of this group of privilege people. Thank you. There are privileges that you and this person both enjoy, that you perhaps you are both of a certain status, of a certain age, of a certain... I'm not getting the age part. You're probably... I actually feel 40s. I feel 40s energy, like in your early 40s, mid 40s, late 40s, something like that. Doesn't have to be, for me and timing and age, like it doesn't have to be at all. Um, but you guys are both inside the courtyard here. So whatever's going on, it's going on either between your families. I feel like there is a little bit of family business here or it's just really coming through strong how connected you and your friend are with the with the business stuff. See how he has his children, the grandchildren, and the dogs. This is also like cycle of life, okay? Because this person 
has already done everything. They've already amassed a great fortune. They've already, you know, it's all there. They have the family, they have the grandkids, you know, and it's really cute because if you see, he's petting one dog and this little grandbaby is pulling the tail or sort of petting the end of the other end of the dog in the traditional tarot. So it's sort of like l that little boy hasn't done anything yet, okay? Hasn't done nothing. So that little boy has got a whole life ahead of him and this old man is, you know, already done so much, but you're, they're both petting the same dog. It's just very circle of life. So this could be about inheritance, like you and the friend got into an argument about inheritances or about wealth or about the business. But you don't really need to. With the Four of Staves and the Ten of Cups of Happiness, you really don't need to have any conflict at all. Whatever it was that you were, that you guys had, remember when I said that it wasn't particularly contention, that it was just challenging? Whatever came up between you two, it was challenging, to say the least. It was challenging. But I feel like it's this ancestral lineage or the fact that you're, like your families are friends or your families have been friends for generations or, you know, whatever that is, that's what's holding you two together. It's really you know, this familiarity, it's either your relatives or you've known each other forever. Or like I said, I'm getting a lot of that sleepy hollow, my family worked with your family going back to the 1620s, you know, something like that. Because with the 10 of cups and the four of staves, it's like happiness, security, serenity, stability, wealth, health, happiness, fecundity. There's so much. We have two tens. Two tens, that's completion energy. So this is like you and this friend, wherever, whatever this is with this business you guys have been doing or whatever it is, whatever came up, you guys made it through. And now it's almost like now you kind of, it's not like you doubted it before. You didn't really doubt the strength of this connection before, but you saw it get up on its feet. You saw the strength of this connection, of this collaboration, of this partnership get up and walk around and defend itself, protect itself against that challenge, that challenging energy, whatever it was. And it could have just been something as simple as a downtime for business. You know, like if it's January in retail, that's not, business doesn't take a downturn because you suck. It's because all retail takes a downturn in January, February, you know what I'm saying? So it could be something like that where it's just the market, it's just the stock market, it's just fluctuations in the market, it's just this, it's just that. So I feel like you guys make it through and you guys feel better, you feel stronger because of what you guys had weathered, because of what you guys came out of. The Four of Cups. I like it because we talked in the very beginning about the Ten of Pentacles and now we have the Four of Cups. It's very elitist energy. It's very, this isn't good enough for me. This isn't, sorry, did I spit? Sorry if I did. This isn't good enough for me. This isn't my bag. This is not, you know. So there is that energy here. This is a rejection energy. So I feel like you or your friend could be, enter not entertaining, you or your friend could be getting offers from other people, other corporations, other entities, but because you have survived and because you guys are so much stronger and really kind of flourishing now, I feel like you and your friend or whoever this is, you're saying no. You're saying, I'm happy. I have a great foundation at this company or they're carrying me over here or, you know, me and so-and-so have a really great thing going over here and, you know, thank you, but no thank you. So I feel like Sagittarius, I feel like you're wondering, like this, I'm, if this reading is resonating with you, Sagittarius, you're either, you're probably wondering about your partner that everything is going great, I'm getting offers, I'm saying no. They're getting, I'm sure they're getting offers. I wonder if they're saying no too. It's kind of probably what it feels like. Okay. Okay. So 
Yeah, I think this is going to give us everything we need to know. I really do feel like there is something being offered that they're saying no to. So that'll this energy is going to be our way in, in the extended. So if this is really resonating with you, Sages, I really hope that you found some value out of this and some confidence in this connection that you have with this other person in the work situation. And if you think that it would be really you know, valuable for you to hop on the flip side and get more insight into this person and what's going on in this connection, then it would be worth it for you to join me on the flip side. It's okay moving forward if you don't. However, I want you to know that this doesn't need a personal reading and I would only recommend the extended if you, like I said, if you want to know more about this person's perspective. Okay, Sagittarius, that's where I leave you guys. For everyone else, I will see you in your next reading, Sagis. I'm sending you all of my best photons. Take care, dearies. Bye. You, Sagittarius, your other person, or both of you could sort of be stress eaters or a hand-to-mouth thing where you smoke or you eat or you snack when you're stressed out. Like, this is you thinking about that challenge. I feel like this is you thinking about what happened. You are this other person, where this person has always been comparing themselves to you and you've never known it, never thought about it, never saw it but it's something that they've been working through on their own for a long time now. You guys really are through the worst of it. It's right within arm's reach. It's right something that you can go out and probably grab to bring you comfort and to make you feel 